on the top and you'll see there are some fields to fill out um, your name is how you want to be identified to your students in this case I'm Flash Gordon or Mr. Gordon give some optional fields as far as a name for that class a period start date end date uh, these can all be changed at any time so fill them in with whatever makes sense for you the most important down here is to select the correct curriculum in this case I'm going to select grade 8 create class and there we go now at this point I do not have any students enrolled in my class what the most important thing here to get students enrolled into is to notice this enrollment code this enrollment code is what you'll give to your students so they can connect to your classroom using the Art or Math app. They'll create accounts just like you did, only they will select student as their type of user. An easy way to get your students enrolled is to click on the enrollment code itself. It'll give you a little pop-up with directions for the students to follow. I would just project this in front of the classroom or write the, write the code on a whiteboard. Okay, let's look at what it looks like from a student perspective. So I'm a student here named Bruce and I just created a student account and my teacher has given me an enrollment code. All I have to do is type in the enrollment code that was provided to me by my teacher and click enroll and there my class shows up as first period grade 8 math I can now start doing math practice by simply launching the Art or Math app okay now I have all my students enrolled you can see that I have 35 students in my grade 7 and my grade 8 classroom I can actually click on the student count right there and I will get a complete roster of who is in my classroom I can also view where a student's progress is at simply by going to the classroom and selecting the chapter that we're working on. In this case, rational numbers. And there you can see all the student data reported in a 1 through 4 score. I can also quickly view the standard and the learning targets for that standard. Well, I hope that helps you get set up to start Art or Math. And please don't hesitate to reach out if you ever have any questions, need any help or support.